All right, I just want to uh, apologize. It's already done, recorded, put on the computer. Uh, I'm not going back, so just so you know, the next three videos are going to be fuzzy, out of focus, blurry. I evidently hit a focus button and didn't realize it way back when at the start of all this, so the next three are just going to be... Well, you just have to listen to me kind of watch along as best you can. Maybe you can squint. I don't know. But just wanted to let you know in the words of George Costanza, it's not you, it's me. So they are out of focus, the next three, but I believe I've got it taken care of. Welcome to Prevent Your Adventure, and tonight finds me at an institution, a, a, a venerable institution in Groton, Connecticut. Uh, my wife and I used to come here quite often, really liked it, and haven't been in a while. Right down the road from Electric Boat, I'm at Paul's Pasta Shop. Um, right on the waterfront, I'll see if I can shut the light off and show you the view I've got while I'm sitting here after. Let me show you what I got first. So I got an order of their small order of bread, a chicken parmesan dinner, and of course, the meatballs. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, I don't know how good this is. I'm looking across the river, the Thames River, and that's New London on the other side. There's a ferry boat over there that goes to Block Island. Um, just saw it. Just a really nice view while I'm sitting here looking out over the water. So anyhow, not here for the view, here for the food. The view just adds to the atmosphere. So let me uh, set up the camera and we'll check out the food. Okay, so tonight I'm having pasta. Anyone who watches me knows that's a mess. So we got the bib on tonight. Let's start with uh, some meatball here. Honestly, I've never had the meatballs here before. In my opinion, which is what this is all about, a little on the chewy side, that first bite anyhow, that first bit. Not sauteed in the sauce, so not my kind of meatball, but that's all right. Let's try some chicken parm here. Nice sauce, plenty of sauce. You know, sometimes you get some of these and uh, not an awful lot of sauce on it. I'm pretty sure they still make their own pasta here. Which they always used to do. I don't know why you would change that. So we're going to say they do. So I like that. I like that chicken. I like that sauce. Garlic bread has a nice flavor to it. Good stuff. All right. Let me eat up, come back, give you some final thoughts. Final thoughts. Paul's Pasta, Groton, Connecticut. So I look out over this beautiful water and the harbor and the lights on the other side. Train stations over there. Just It's really, really a nice area. Anyhow. And the Gold Star Bridge is up here, but you can't really see it at night. So, anyhow, here we go. Um, when I came here years ago, I was in awe of this place. I, I really was. I really liked it. Many restaurants and many years later, I'm not going to tell you I'm in awe anymore, but it was very good. It was it was very good. Uh, 
the garlic bread, just nicely done. The chicken parm and the pasta, I really liked that piece of chicken. I thought it was really a good piece of chicken. The sauce, plenty of sauce, plenty of pasta. That was all very enjoyable. The meatballs. Here's what I'm going to say about the meatballs. <clears throat> now remember, this is Bruce Preventer saying this when he says this about the meatballs. I did not finish the meatballs. Part of that was because the meal they give you is massive. I mean, I'm stuffed. I am stuffed. I didn't finish the bread. But the meatballs just didn't grab me. So take that for what it's worth. Once again, nice people inside. Same guy's been there forever. Um, strangely, his name's not Paul, but I don't know if it was a, a family thing or what. I don't know. But anyhow, really, really good meal. Very good. The entree. So where does that leave me? By the way, if you come out here in the summer, they have a nice deck where you can sit out and look out over the water. While you eat, they have a number of tables out there. The place is always busy. Uh, there's people that come here and, and love it. and I would come back, um, and I have. So let's give it a score. Paul's Pasta, Groton, Connecticut, 0 to 10. Uh, I'm going to say 8.2 because I would come back. I liked it. So the meatballs put a bit of a damper on it for me. Uh, there are people who probably love those meatballs. Once again, this is just my opinion. Uh, I come to these places and I eat and I tell you what I think. I guarantee you there are people out there that think the exact opposite of what I think. And they're just as right as I am. This is just an opinion. Therefore, it's neither right or wrong. It's just an opinion. So, anyhow. Paul's Pasta. Groton, Connecticut. On the waterfront. 